soundtrack to my life. All right, this is the beast, the 2006, I'm guessing, Toyota, bad. It's all lifted, k and V6, four-door, da-da-da-da-da-da. Well, we're going to put hydrogen on it today. All right, we're underneath the truck. This is the sideways mounted unit. I'm going to mount it up in these, these holes right here where I've already pre-drilled. Right there. It's the hardware I'm using. Grade 8 double bolt locking system. Should be enough for a good ground. Alright, here I am. I got it all locked up. Ready to go. See how it's all bolted up there. There's plenty of clearance. Might not look like it, but there is. It's solid as a rock for 4 iron Cross mounted. Right across the subframe connector or whatever that is. I quickly wanted to go over this before I installed it. It got, uh, these are two pieces of my bubbler right here. This comes out of the the unit itself and it's an elbow. It changes it from from this 3 8 braided, which I got plenty of, and turns it into this, what is this, one in an eighth or whatever one and a quarter clear hose so you can actually see the bubbler work and show your friends and stuff it's pretty cool kind of degrades after a while but it's cool it's replaceable and this is the top L piece right here this is the top of the bubbler turns it back into to three eighths or whatever right there and also X I put this neat uh, was that breath Filler. It's the filler knob or whatever, so you won't have to, you know, you can refill it with water fairly easily. If you, I don't know if you can see in there, but you see that meshing also? It's a bubbler popper diffuser, whatnot, so you won't get any bubbles passing into your intake. And I use these hose injection or injection hose clamps right there. They're pretty high quality. You can get some good clamp on them hydrogen tight. Well as you can see I've done most of the plumbing. I strapped the I used some this metal stuff right here strapped it into the radiator bracket so it's nice and firm it's not going anywhere. The air sensors right here so I'm gonna tap in right before it on the filter side right underneath it. Alright see I tapped in right there it comes out a little bit Use some uh, uh, gas thread, that yellow tape right there, make it a nice tight fit. Well, you can see I've reinstalled the K&N and the hose goes underneath it because hydrogen goes up, comes back here through the, the front clip into the filler cap I installed earlier. If you could see, I'm Pretty sure my plumbing's done. So for the electrical, you're gonna need some 10 gauge. This was about 40, 50 bucks. This is 75 feet. We're only gonna use like 10, 12 feet of it though. Got right here the Sweet Sun Pro amp gauge so you can monitor. Got right here a, a red LED rocker switch, 30 amp switch, right there. You're gonna need this, a fuse block. I got this bad boy right here for like four bucks. And then I got a couple 30 amp fuses. You're also gonna need some of these yellow connectors. I got these neat shrink wrap ones with the shrink wrap on them, just for heavy duty. You're gonna need one for the battery. You're gonna need a couple for the gauges. And you're gonna need a couple for the switches. All right. One of the hardest parts of doing the electric, uh, the electrical is actually going through the firewall. So right here, I don't know if you can see this, but I got a coat hanger that I shoved through the grommet right here. And it goes, comes out under the dash. And then I hooked it on two lines of the 10 gauge and I 
use electrical tape make it nice and slick so it can pull it back through all right I just pulled my wires through and I crimped on one of those eyelet deals to my neat wing nut all right now that I got my hydrogen hooked up to this wire nope it's this wire hydrogen's hooked up to this wire this one is going to go to the switch and I got the switch here I took one of these plates out right here drilled a nice little hole in it kind of scuffed it up a little bit but that's okay because the switch will cover it I'll just screw it in there it's kind of tight for the nut so I just ended up tapping it out alright so I'm pretty much done under the hood I have the hot tied in right here to the positive terminal goes around the air cleaner to the fuse box I don't have a fuse in there yet but and then they both go through one goes in one comes out the hot comes in I got through the gauge the amp meter is gonna go right here this one goes in I mark this one so I know this one goes out and this one goes down to here it's where the switch is gonna go this one's hot this one goes in and then I mark this one to go out back to the hydrogen generator I'm gonna put the switch in right here and put the gauge in right here and then all I gotta do is uh, tap in for the lights the ground off the switch is going to charge the light for the gauge because I'm too lazy to to tap into all this junk down here to find out which one's the dimmer switch alright so I'm almost done of my hot of the what lead going out I got my light right there um, the hot wire goes to the accessory on the switch right here and the ground goes to doubles up with the ground on the on the switch and I got my switch all hooked up now all I gotta do is ground out the the switch and the light alright so I'm all done I got my amp gauge what's it say 15 amps it's about right it's a little much but I got the the working light here see so you know it's on it's pretty trick so I got the light see the little glow uh, when this is on so they both should let you know that they're on don't forget to turn them off though or it will drain your battery I didn't bother going through all the ignition stuff because uh, I just don't have time for that today the end result see what we got here we got the fuse the battery hookup the wire goes down there the unit there's the sweet bubbler working pretty sweet huh it's not so bad filler cap right there now it goes into the K&N right about there sweet it's a little downhill I didn't want it to go downhill, I wanted it to go uphill, but you just do what you can, you know? And then underneath, we have the unit right here, mounted to the cross frame. Get a drain plug, right there, up right there, there's the wing nut. Right down here, is the air plug. You take that off, it allows you to fill it up. When that overflows, while you're filling this up, you know that it's full. But other than that, it's just water, man. Distilled water. I use about an eighth of a teaspoon of lye per gallon. And I get those results right there. And for this truck, it should be noticeable. Well, I hope this uh, little tutorial was uh, beneficial for all of you who are thinking about doing this. I suggest you do do it. It's well worth it. This is about $200 in material and about, I don't know, 80 hours of work if you know what you're doing. Probably less than that if you, if you, you know, if you do your research and stuff. Anyways, just take some time, do it for yourself, man. It's a lot of fun.